Hi there, another instant weekly tournament. Um, 15 high cut points with a long spade suit. So I would say this is more, more or less an invitational hand. So it's moderately strong. And my partner is showing a minimum hand, which means I've got probably one chance to get this right. One, two, three, four, five, six. I've got six losers though. So I think I can invite and I'll do so with a help to try. Uh, this is showing partner where I have something to help him. And it's up to him whether he wants to beat game or not. And he does. Okay, so. Excuse the noise. Uh, it's where I'm reasonably near at FU. Let me pause for a minute. All right, so it looks like I probably have no losers in hearts. Uh, I might have a couple of losers in clubs. No losers in diamonds. Uh, and in spades, if I'm very unlucky, I would have a couple of losers, but I might only have one. So I think I might make. Uh, the question is, uh, of course, since it's match points, um, if I can make, sure. So the uh, obvious space is in clubs. Uh, I will have a king jack, uh, depending on where the ace is. All right. So I probably would. Let me pause for again for a bit. Uh, so as I was saying, uh, the club suit, which is is what I need to be be aware of. Uh, so what I probably want to do is to, uh, after winning this trick in hearts, to play the top of spades from dummy, uh, trying to finesse to to finesse the right uh, hand side if possible, and uh, possibly uh, if I lose to the, my left hand side, that's okay. Uh, it helps to protect my club suit. So let me try that. Okay. So I'm going to cross over in diamonds. Now draw trumps starting with my jack of spades. And I think I'm going to cover. If A is on my left, then all is good. Okay, so uh, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So there are two more trumps. And I've got the top ones, right? So now the question is, what do I do with my clubs? I still have the two clubs uh, pending a decision. Uh, one possibility is uh, I might be able to promote my six of hearts and get rid of one loser in clubs, thereby confining myself to just the one loser in clubs, which is fine because I have two potential losers in clubs here. Uh, I think that might be the only thing I can try actually. So I need to further draw trumps until they're all gone. So that's 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Um, yeah, that's the funny thing. I actually had to decide whether to try to finesse for the clubs or to try to get a winner in hearts, but I can do both. I can draw hearts and see whether it's split evenly or not. There's eight, nine, 10, 11. Okay, so it's obviously not split evenly. So I demo, therefore I'm forced to try the clubs. And I can play the king or the jack. If I play the jack and the queen is on my right and the ace is on my left, that's fine. Unfortunately, the there is a possibility that the ace is on my right and the queen is on my left. So it's kind of 50-50-ish. <laughs> so, but uh, the good news is I will make either way. The only question is whether I'll make extra trick. 
right? So uh, I'm always inclined to play the jack anyway. So let's do that. Okay, so that's good. And basically, I can claim the rest. Okay. Uh huh. I I'm always inclined to play the jack because uh most often uh, the opponents who play the ace when faces a situation like this at the end game, uh I think, uh so yeah, so if the ace didn't come out, then I would presume that the ace is on my left, which uh still still might not be too good for me if the ace queen was on my left, but at least I would have tried. Anyway, uh let's move on. 13 high cut points in a very flat hand. 4 3 3 3. But I guess I should open. Uh, how many? Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I've 8 losers also. Uh, so that, that this isn't a very promising hand, I would say. Okay. Uh, so my partner has 10 to 12 points. Uh, well, it says here 9 to 11 KCP. Uh, nevertheless, it's an invitational hand with a likely shortage in one suit or the other. Uh, which, if it's in space, not a problem. The only question is hearts. Uh, I, have a, I have a dictum which I often tell to my students, which is uh, when you're invited, always find an excuse to not go to game. In other words, uh, I should be trying very hard to find an, ex uh, an excuse to go to game, which is the reverse way of saying it, right? Uh, so I need to find an excuse not to go to Trino Trump. Uh, an excuse to go to Trino Trump is the fact that I have three, three, uh, three clubs, all right? Uh, that could be good for quite a few tricks. Um, and so uh, the, the other excuse to go to three no trans would be uh, opponent specific. Uh, the robots like to make passive leads. So the even if the robots had an optimal, optimal lead in hearts, they might not take the lead in hearts. They might not take a, make a lead in hearts. They might lead in some other suit, uh, which is likely going to be good for me. Uh, so there's two reasons to go to uh, Trino Trump. Uh, of course, the reason not to go to Trino Trump is that I might be short in hearts and the opponents will lead in hearts. Come to think of it, I've given my, myself an excuse, right? It requires two conditions to be true. Opponents, uh, I have no stops in hearts and opponents make a lead in hearts. Uh, and as I've kind of uh, concluded long ago, the robots don't usually make good leads in no Trump. I don't know why. Uh, so this is the case of taking into account your opponent's proclivities. Um, I think the last reason I have for going to no Trump is that I think so this is match points, right? We are comparing with pairs on another table. So the one of the consideration is that you will compare your performance with pairs on another table. And that frequently comes down to what would the others do, right? So if the others bid three no Trump and make, I'm going to be in a bad position. If I bid three no Trump and don't make, it's quite possible that I'll be in the same uh, space as other pairs. So, I think, uh, having considered all this, I think I'm going to tip over into trying to beat a tree no Trump. It's going to be quite marginal. Let's let's hope for the best. And yes, 
as as I've guessed, uh, the robot makes a suboptimal lead, uh, passive lead actually, into my speed suit, which is good for me. Uh, turns out this I'm not too badly off in the hard suit. I have an ace in dummy. Uh, and in my diamond suit, I don't have any high cards except for the jack, but then the jack is behind a, a four card suit. So it's, a, it's actually not too bad. Let's, let me try. Okay, the obvious thing for me to do now is to try to establish the club suit. All right, there's, so my ace jack is now good. So I have a four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. I have two more clubs. So I, oh, another spade lead, you see? I, I think the robot is, I mean, I'm being aided by the robot here, I have to say. Uh, so. Okay, one heart discard. I, I well, I'm not going to be likely to get anything more than the show winners that I do have now. So, what the heck? I'm, I might as well just play them out. Okay. Well, quite a few people tried for three no trump actually, even though it was kind of iffy. Uh, one, two, three, four, five people stayed at three clubs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight people went to three no trumps. And uh, you can see that uh, it's, the bidding was all the same, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, all the same. So basically, it's a case of partly a case of doing what everyone else would do, uh, more or less. And partly the case of, of uh, relying on robot to make a bad lead. Uh, if let's let's look at this, the hand here. Should the robot, if it was a human, would the human have led hearts? Uh, quite likely, actually. Uh, but of course, it's the diamond lead that would have been uh, very bad, I think. Yeah. It was the diamond lead that would have been fairly bad. Uh, not so much the hard lead, but uh, in any case, uh, yeah, it was a bad lead by the robot. Okay, moving on. I can beat two no trump on this. All right. Yes, uh, I have. Three short tricks in diamonds, two in hearts, one in clubs. I need three more. Uh, unfortunately, the opponents have attacked my heart suit immediately. So I've only got two rounds of uh, tricks to get it right. Uh, I could uh, win this trick and then uh, uh, squeeze the diamond suit and then try to finesse for clubs or I could immediately uh, flush out the king of clubs from my hand. Um, actually, I, I do think I have the time. I do have the timing uh, necessary to do this and uh, it's a bit of good luck if opponents are split evenly too then i can win an extra, in diamonds i mean then there will be an extra one for me nice okay so i do have an extra diamond trick here so there are no more diamonds so i don't uh so i'm going to 
for the king. I got to finesse this way because I'm short in my hand, right? Oops. Oh, thank goodness. For a moment there, I thought I did it wrongly. Okay. I actually come to think of it in, in, in hindsight. I should have actually, uh, instead of trying to finesse, I should just have played the ace and the queen immediately to flush out the king. In case of uh, misbalanced hand. So I got lucky there because I think I played it wrong. Yeah, so don't try this at home, guys. So uh, after winning with the ace of hearts, I should have just played the ace queen of clubs to flush out the king. And then uh, that will have been a better play uh, than the way I did it. All right, so okay, moving on. About 13 high cut points and support in diamond suit. So I'm going to queue bit raise. This, this two club, which is a qubit of the opponent's one club, is means good support in diamonds, three plus uh, diamonds, and 10 plus total points, which I do have. So basically, this is a instruction to partner to keep on bidding and see where we, see where we end up. So uh, the opponent has at least six clubs six good clubs or seven not so good ones. It's, if it's seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Uh, my partner is likely to be short in clubs. Um, likely, but not certain. It could be that East is the one that is uh, short in clubs to the point of being void. Uh, if, so, uh, I guess the, the chances are about uh, even uh, that my partner is the one who's short in clubs. Um, I've got eight losers. Uh, this could be a bit tricky, but I think I'm inclined to bid three diamonds. Uh, so as not to let the opponents. Uh, right. I've got eight losers, but in, if uh, of these eight, maybe two of them are in the clubs, uh, non essential losers. Could be, it could turn out all right, actually. Let's see how many. Oh, yes. And that's perfect. My partner has a single club and it turns out to be the ace of clubs, which is perfect. Uh, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. I can actually afford to draw. That's even better. So one, uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One more. So there are more, no more trumps, uh, and I just need to flush out the ace of uh, spades to basically promote my spade suit. Mm. I don't think there's any extra tricks I can make actually, uh, because there's no point discarding the clubs. And yeah, discarding the hearts is not going to do much good either. Nope, I didn't think so. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to claim the rest. Yeah, as I, what is 50%? Did anybody not go? But everybody went three uh, to diamonds. And one actually made it all the way to 5D. Uh, All right. Uh, okay. Twelve high cut points. It's 
it's kind of tempting to bid, but I only had 12 points in a fairly flat hand. And I'm vulnerable. I think I can do a takeout double if it turns out the opponent bids hearts. Yeah, I can probably direct my partner to either of the uh, two four card suits I have. So I'm going to pass first. And it turns out to be actually pretty good prediction. Uh, so East has maybe five or six clubs and West has four. So I can double to ask my partner to bid either diamonds or spades. I'm going to pass. Oh, my partner does have a nice spade suit. And he's not too weak either. Uh, my diamond suit is good, solid, pretty solid. Uh, I have two losers in hearts. Uh, one or two in clubs. And possibly one in spades. I might go down one trick, actually. Let's see. Uh, obviously, uh, I can't do much. I should delay uh, leading the club suit as much as possible. Uh, and I should draw trumps. That's hard suit I can't do anything about. Okay. going to rough high because I can. Yes, indeed. It's it good that I roughed high. Um, I'm going to draw chunks, I guess. Yes. Doesn't work. Okay, I've got eight of spades here, so no problem. I'm going to play a seven. Eight. Um, looks like I can't defer the, the decision anymore, so I'm going to have to go up and try to play the clubs. And thankfully, the ace is on my right. I'm going to play. Okay. Now, well, actually, a bunch of people went to three spades, but maybe not via my route. Yeah, uh, I think a bunch of them actually doubled from the get go. Uh, I'm the only one who passed first and then doubled. Okay. Anyway, moving on. Uh, 16 high cut points with a five cut spade suit. I suppose I can justify a three spade bid. Uh, I, by the way, uh, frequently when uh, the opponent preempts, there is, and I've got a long suit, a five cut suit, there is always a good chance, a pretty good chance of my partner having a fit for me in that suit. Uh, I'm not too, is, I'm not too, I don't know what the exact probabilities are, but uh, I'm not too worried about overcalling like this, even though my five card suit uh, isn't terrifically good. And sure enough, I do have a fit. I have a loser in clubs, a potential loser in diamonds, and probably one in spades. So, kind of, well, may not be that straightforward. Let me let me see. Uh, okay. I think I better draw trunks quickly. Well, maybe not. I'm going to take my rough first. Oh, 
One more, Trump. We get rid of. All right. Uh, it kind of looks like I'm going to make, but uh, let's let's see whether I can get extra. Nope. Okay. You might have gathered by now that I, I tend to uh, relegate finesses uh, as far back as I can. Uh, I don't, if I don't need to take them, I, I won't. Uh, yeah. Uh, Seventeen points. Uh, wow, this is a new one. What's this? Uh, okay, it's Splinter. Uh, the splinter is in my speed suit, which... But, uh, yeah, this could be a pretty good hand, actually. Uh, splinter is in my speed suit. So if I bid three no try, it's kind of uh... could I cube it? This, this, I think I can go to at least the five level. So I'll cube it and see where it takes us. I'm gonna assume that we have a nice fit in hearts, although that by that's by no means assured. Nice. So uh, I have the ace of clubs and looks like my partner has the ace of diamonds, which covers that. And so I can complete the count of key cards. We definitely have one key card in diamonds, but let's see how many key cards my partner has in Zero or three. I think it's unlikely. My partner has zero key cards. Uh, in fact, it's impossible. Come to think of it. My partner has the ace, right? Of diamonds, right? So he has three key cards, which is very nice. Uh, I think I can try for six no trump, actually. Uh, given that I only have two hearts. Let's try that. And a long diamond suit. As promised, uh, he's short in. Okay, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, well, this is going to get really dicey, isn't it? Um, I'm kind of one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm kind of shot a lot of tricks. Uh, however, the diamond suit may be a source of tricks, but even if I can successfully finesse the diamond suit, uh, I got to retain the club suit for communication. But even if I can successfully finesse the diamond suit, I'll still be one shot, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, so I'm going to have to rely on the finesse of the diamond suit as well. But let me try to finesse the diamonds first. I'm going to go about this way. Okay, yeah, that was just in case. It was only a king left, right? Then I can preserve the rest of my diamonds. So actually I have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So so actually I need okay, that's good. I only need one more and uh 
So I'm going to just, I still need to finesse this. Uh, do I? Yeah, I do. I still need to finesse this. That's how it works. Nope, it doesn't. Okay, so it's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> Uh, this is a bit nerve wracking, and now I'm gonna to have to hope the hard suit is split even. Oh no! Oh, oh dear. Uh, okay, uh, <laughs> uh, good try. I pat myself on the back. Uh, <laughs> okay, someone actually made the six no trump. Uh, probably because he didn't bother it. Sorry, probably because he didn't bother it. He did finesse. Uh, Yeah, he forced the heart discard. That's why he was able to make. Uh, yeah, okay, 0% for me. Nice. Anyway, let's move on. Uh, I've got 16 high cut points, a nice uh, long diamond suit actually. I'm gonna do an inverted minor because uh, I don't have a major to do. Play and I, I need to force my partner to beat at least one round. Okay, so the opponent has a nice long suit in hearts for which I have an ace of diamond, an ace of hearts. Uh, Well, my, my stats are in 59% now, and this is the last board, so I kind of need to... Uh, it's kind of a do or die now. I might have a slam, but the problem is uh, how do I figure that out? Hmm. Well, this is not considered by. Well, it's four hearts is a bit too high for a qubit. I mean, uh... yeah, or maybe it isn't actually. So my partner will know that I'm pretty strong, which I am. So I. Definitely can try for. I can definitely try for five uh, diamonds, but if my partner has is a bit stronger, he's going to bid six diamonds, or at least that's the theory anyway. Darn, he's, he's not making it clearer for me. I really have a good hand. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, I guess I have to give up. I thought I might have a slam, but maybe not. Oh, what a lead. <laughs> uh, what a lead. Uh, and I be just because of the lead, I have a slam. I, I mean, I do have 12 tricks, rather. Excuse me. Uh, because, because I can use my clubs to get rid of my losers in... Uh, my Sorry, I can use my space to get rid of my losers in clubs.
and I can claim all but one trick. So I kind of missed a slam. Ouch. Yep, 42%. Oh well, uh, not too good this session. Uh, till next week then.